There's so many ways to connect speakers to your console like your PlayStation 4. Not only by the use of cables, wireless connection via Bluetooth, and also by the use of these little devices here. But did you know that you can also connect your speaker indirectly to your consoles? Anyway, on this video, I will take you through each way to make it clear for you. But before that, if this is your first time seeing one of my videos, just want you to know I do gaming setups, some DIYs, especially about gadgets, and the one I called Gadget Experiments. Just my own term of doing all possible setups for any gadgets and its capabilities. So if you are interested, please subscribe and include the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any of my new uploads. When you've done that, let's start with the first way. Which is the easiest way and most simple way by just connecting your PS4 to your speaker by using an optical cable like this. I just use my soundbar as an example, as it has an optical in port. Following by the second one, which is actually you can connect indirectly as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, it's also by using an optical cable from your display, which I used my TV as an example. You can use any display you have as long as it has an optical out port. Now moving on to the third way, which is also coming from your display just by using a different cable like this 3.5 male to male stereo cable. Same as the second way, your display should have 3.5 out port and at the same time your speaker should have 3.5 in port. Using another kind of cable is our fourth way which is 3.5 male to 2 RCA males cable. And also the same as the second and third way, your display and speaker should have these ports. And now on the fifth way is by using an adapter like this which I have all the ports mentioned on the first ways. From the optical out of the PS4 to the optical in of the adapter, then the two RCAs out of the adapter to the two RCAs in of your speaker. But then again, just please note all the cables and ports are available in your devices so you will able to choose which way is compatible with your display and speaker. Moving on to the sixth way is almost the same as the fifth, just by using the 3.5 male to male stereo cable. And also the same as the seventh way, which only by using 3.5 mm to 2 RCA cable. Now our 8th way is by using this Ugreen sound card. You will notice it has a USB on one side and a 3.5 female port on the other side. This sound card is the most convenient for me compared to the others as this has no cables attached. You just need to connect the stereo cable with two 3.5 male ends. Same as the 9th way which you can use the same adapter with 3.5 mm male to 2 RCA male cable. Then the tenth way is by using wireless connectivity by using Bluetooth transmitter adapters like this three here. If any one of you who didn't see my separate video for it, you can find the link on top of the screen and at the end of this video. The last but not least is by using the HDMI audio extractor. I don't have the device yet but it's worth mentioning on this list as it's proven working way as well. There's gonna be more ways from that adapter but since I don't have it yet, I just counted it as one. And now let's go for the PS4 Slim. It's almost the same as the first gen PS4 and the PS4 Pro just by removing the optical port from it. I choose to start with those indirectly connecting from the PS4 Slim as the one from the display. First is the optical to optical. Second is the 3.5 to 3.5 mm stereo cable. Third is with the 3.5 to RCA. Fourth is the sound card with 3.5 to 3.5 mm stereo cable. And fifth is the 3.5 to 2 RCAs. Sixth is the USB Bluetooth adapter. Again, you can click on the link above, down in the description, and at the end of this video. From seventh to tenth way is by using HDMI audio extractor. From that adapter, using optical to optical cable is the seventh way. Using the 3.5 to 3.5 stereo is the 8th way. Using the 3.5 to 2 RCA is the 9th way. And the last but also not least is by using 2 RCA to 2 RCA males cable. 
For all these connections, don't forget to adjust the sound setting on your PS4. Just remember to click this box right here, so it will automatically detect whatever you are connecting to your PS4. That's wrap it up for today. I hope you found this useful. Thank you all again for watching. Just remember, know your cables and you will not go wrong. I'll see you next time.